Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert text to speech using Amazon Polly. And so there's two different ways that you can convert text to speech using Polly. You can either do it directly through the AWS console, which we're going to do in this video. Uh, it's got a nice little IDE or editor kind of thing where you can specify some of the different settings at your disposal. Or you can do this programmatically using the AWS SDK and calling some specific APIs that Polly exposes. And you can supply the text and all the parameters into your call and get that content delivered to something like S3. I'll be doing a follow-up video where I show you how to do that from a Lambda function that calls Polly and delivers the data to S3 so you can download that information. But in this video, we're going to do it through the AWS console here. Now, just one item before we begin, which is in terms of pricing. So Polly is a candidate for the AWS free tier, which means that if you haven't used Polly before, from the first moment you use it and the 12 months after, you're going to get 1 million characters that you can translate for free per month. So if you're doing this for the first time and you never used Polly before and you're on a new AWS account, this will be totally free to use. And after those 12 months expire, it costs $4 per 1 million characters. So that's just the pricing model if you're curious. But again, uh, if this is your first time, this is going to be absolutely free. So let's just get started right away and go ahead and try Polly. And I'll show you what the editor looks like and some of the settings that you're at your disposal. Let's just make this a little bit bigger so you can see everything. Okay, perfect. All right, so this is the text-to-speech uh, kind of IDE that's at your disposal. Um, so a couple different settings that I want to walk you through first. So first of all, we get to choose the engine that we get to use. So there's the neural or the standard, and the neural produces the most natural and human-like speech possible, where the standard produces just a natural, quote-unquote, natural-sounding speech. Um, so if you want to listen what the text sounds like directly in the console, you just put your text down here and just says in this video you'll learn how to use Amazon Polity Polly to convert text to speech and then once you've done that you can go ahead and click on listen and listen to the output in this video you'll learn how to use Amazon Polly to convert text to speech all right so that sounded pretty good how about for standard now in this video you'll learn how to use Amazon Polly to convert text to speech that sounds kind of gross and unnatural. I, I very much prefer the uh, neural. Uh, so that's what I'm going to stick with for the majority of this video. Now, in addition to that, you also have different languages that you're at your disposal. So many, many different languages. Let's just try one. Okay, so British accent for English. Let's try that out. You'll notice it automatically changes the voice as well. That's because for certain uh, languages, there's only certain voices that are supported. So let's try Emma, which is a female here. In this video, you'll learn how to use Amazon Polly to convert text to speech. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. And with standard again. In this video, you'll learn how to use Amazon Polly to convert text to speech. All right, that definitely sounds like a robot. So yeah, we are going to stick with neural in this case. Uh, and then after you've done your translation, actually, let me just switch that back. Uh, where is just normal English US? All right, cool. Uh, and you can see it changes the voices in the IDE here for you a little bit too often, I think. Do I have it on Matthew before or Steven? I can't remember, uh, but let's leave it on Steven. Now, once you've uh, kind of, you're, you're happy with this, you can either listen it directly here. Or you can download the audio file if you want. So that'll just download it. You can see that's a speech file now that we can listen to, or you can save it to S3. You can specify a bucket that you want to put it in, uh, a key prefix, and you can optionally um, include an SNS topic so that you can send out a notification when you generate this audio file so that other applications can respond to it. So pretty cool. Um, we're not going to do that in this video. So this is basically the basics of using Polly for text to speech. Uh, now there is a lot more control than you can do if you're using the SSML feature. And if we click on this little button here, the info button, you can see that SSML stands for speech synthesis markup language, and it allows you to modify speech output, for example, by selecting a newscaster voice, changing the phonetic pronunciation of a word or adding a pause. And I highly suggest you take their advice and see the documentation which is available on this link here. And this is the documentation itself. And you can see if we make this a little bit bigger as well. No, that looks weird. Anyways, 
Um, these are the different actions that are supported. So adding a pause, emphasizing words, uh, specifying a different language, um, placing, I'm not sure what that one does, about using different phonetic pronunciations, controlling volume, rates, what other stuff, newscaster style, if you want to use dynamic range compression, speaking softly or whispering, controlling the timbre. Actually, whispering and speaking softly are two separate ones. That's kind of interesting. But there's a lot of options that are available to you here. And the documentation is fantastic for this, I have to say. So you can see like you can add pauses and specify all the different parameters. If you want the pause to be weak or extra strong, uh, you can do that. And there's like a whole bunch of stuff. So like for dynamic range compression, for example, it explains to you exactly how it works and some diagrams to help you out. Uh, so if you want to control the settings a little bit more in detail, you can come to this link and read the documentation and basically manipulate the voice to sound exactly like you want it to. Uh, so let me show you a couple different examples of using SSML in action. So make sure that you select this tab over here to enable SSML. And let me just drop in some uh, pre-prepared um, different SSML annotated text lines, and you can see how this works. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice is that we have to uh, encapsulate all of the text with these speak tags, and it kind of looks like an HTML tag. So you have speak and then slash speak at the end here, and then all your text goes in between. And you can see this is the same sentence as before, but I just have a break time is equal to one second uh, at the, well, in between in this video and the remainder. So let's give this a listen now to see how this sounds. In this video, you'll learn how to use Amazon Polly to convert text to speech. All right, that sounds way too long. Let's try something a little bit shorter. So I'm going to do 250 MS or milliseconds in this case. This should sound a lot more natural. Let's try this out. In this video, you'll learn how to use Amazon Polly to convert text to speech. All right, that sounds a lot better. Uh, the next one that I want to show you is if you have multiple different paragraphs and you want to add pauses between each one. If you don't do this, it'll just like seamlessly continue with no breaks and that doesn't sound very human-like. So let's try this out. I'm going to paste this in. So you can see I have uh, the paragraph separated by these S tags. So uh, S for starting the paragraph and then slash S for ending it. Let's try this out. In this video, you'll learn how to use Amazon Polly to convert text to speech. Polly is a serverless platform that uses a pay-as-you-go model. And hopefully you're able to notice the gap between the first paragraph and the second here. Let's show you how to manipulate the rate uh, or the speaking speed of the text. So let's try that one out. And you can see here we are using this, it's called Prosody. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, we're specifying the rate tag and we're gonna say 70%. So it's gonna be 70% slower uh, than the normal. Let's try that out. In this video, you'll learn how to use Amazon Polly to convert text to speech. Okay, that sounded pretty unnatural. Let's try that a little bit faster. Let's say at uh, maybe 85% and it should sound a little bit better. In this video, you'll learn how to use Amazon Polly to convert text to speech. And hopefully you were able to notice the subtle difference there. I believe you can also do this to speed it up. So let's try this out. So 120%. In this video, you'll learn how to use Amazon Polly to convert text to speech. Yeah, you can definitely hear the speed. Let's try 200%. In this video, you'll learn how to use Amazon Polly to convert text to speech. Yeah, definitely making a difference there. It sounds kind of funny. Uh, all right, so that's it for this one. Let's try the newscaster, which uh, is a little bit of an interesting one. Sometimes you get really good results. Sometimes you get very poor results. It really depends on the text input. Uh, so let's try this one out. And you can see all we do in this case is we have an additional wrapper. So we're saying Amazon domain name is equal to news. We can actually take out this and then uh, the closing tag here. So let's see how this one sounds. And yeah, through an error because Steven isn't supported. There's some other ones that I think are, unfortunately it doesn't do a good job of highlighting which voices are available for different settings. So you gotta try them out. Uh, so let's try Joanna, I believe this one works. In this video, you'll learn how to use Amazon Polly to convert text to speech. Yeah, not the greatest. Uh, let's try a couple other male ones. Maybe Kevin works. No, not Kevin, Matthew. In this video, you'll learn how to use Amazon Polly to convert text to speech. That's actually not bad, but the results you get very much so differ based on the, the speech that you have here. So if you have anything like a news announcement or a broadcaster for like a sport or something, this will be very, very appropriate. You can also do a whole bunch of other things with the SSM, like uh, kind of, like I mentioned, adding those pauses, adding breathing pauses to make it sound much more realistic. 
But that's basically a rundown of how this feature works in the AWS console. And I'll put together a follow-up of how to do this programmatically using a Lambda function and S3 in a future video. So look forward to that. And thanks so much for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.